Alright guys, welcome back to CBD Reviews. Today's review is of the Geek Vape, not that you can see. It's the Geek Vape Loop 1.5 RDA. Let's dive down, have a look what's in the box around the RDA, head back up top, and I'll give you my final thoughts. See you in a sec. So, what you get is obviously a cardboard box. Geek Vape, keep out of reach of children and minors, 24mm loop, 1.5 RDA, W deck with sleeve airflow, warning, the warning below only applies basically if you've got nicotine in it, which is that on the side, you've got the Geek Vape branding on the top, again, Geek Vape on the other side. You get your colours that you can get black, gunmetal, blue, red, stainless steel, gold, rainbow, violet. You do get your barcode, top and bottom, made in China with all the warnings. On the bottom, you get nothing. On the back, which I'll zoom in a little bit just so you can see. Loop 1.5 RDA, the loop RDA version 1.5 maintains the, the original w shape build deck and upgrades the surround airflow with the sleeve design to ensure complete airflow with significantly enhances the flavor while minimizing leakage and then obviously it tells you what's in the actual box so open the box and you're greeted with a clamshell box. Now obviously you've got the RDA loop 1.5 on the side you do get the seal that you have to break top loop 1.5 RDA quite a lot of branding of the loop or the geek vape on this geek vape branding there again with the security seal loop 1.5 again on the bottom is basically just the same as what's on the box with your warnings, your authenticity, scratch and check, barcodes and so on. Inside the clam box you get the RDA which is quite tight in there. And then on this side you get a spare drip tip and a bag of goodies, basically o-rings, spare screws, squonk pin, the TP screwdriver which has confused the hell out of me because this originally came with flathead screws in it and yet the screwdriver is allen key allen key and a phillips so i don't know where they've gone wrong on that but there's no flat-headed screwdriver so if you haven't got one then you could come a bit and stuck on it and then obviously there's nothing else underneath so let's have a look shall we put all that to one side Now, this is obviously stainless steel, but it is a fingerprint magnet, so I do apologise. But if you look on the barrel, there's some kind of like little laser etched engraving type design going on. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It looks kind of a bit like fingerprints type of thing, but it's actually engraved all the way around, which is pretty cool. Obviously, your airflow ring, you do have loop engraved on there. Obviously, this is a single or a dual coil. Obviously, airflow, airflow, and then obviously the middle one is for single coil. And drip tip, big drip tip. Again, autumn, not a big fan. On the bottom, you do get the loop, 1.5 RDA, and then your serial number signed by Geek Vape. Don't vape in a bin with C's and stuff like that. The actual deck itself, which is an upgrade from the version one, which I never had the version one. <coughs> Excuse me. But the deck itself, before we look at the deck, we'll have a look at the inside of the barrel. Obviously, it is still a bit wet. I've cleaned it. But there's a slight doming going on in there, right at the top. There's still a bit of tissue in there from when I've dried it. Now, the drip tip is quite hard to get off even from pushing it from the inside out 
there's not that much of the drip tip coming through to actually push it off but it is quite tough it is 510 so your normal 510 810 sorry is 810 drip tip so you know 810s will fit unless you've got the 810s with the o-rings on the bottom they won't fit the o-ring is actually inside which if i get my tweezers the o-ring is just in there i'm i do like this engraving type stuff on the actual barrel i'm hoping the camera's picking it up properly just give it another clean because as i said it is a fingerprint magnet I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's literally got some kind of engraving on. That is pretty cool. But anyway, getting back to it. Slight doming of the inside of the barrel. Airflow. It's got like slots, slots on the airflow. Easy to move. It is, it is a bit stiff when you first take out the box, but that's expected. Obviously on dual airflow, Obviously, it will come from the left and the right, and then on single, it's on either one you want to pull it on. But you can dial it down into as tight as possible, especially on the single. But all, all in all, I think it's more of a dual coil. Now we got onto the deck, and I'll lay that on the side for a second. As you can see, it is a W deck. Obviously, the shape of a W. There are your where the screws are. I'll zoom in a little bit more. I've changed these out for Allen key heads. They're not that nice, flat heads. Double O-ring to keep the barrel on. There is like a lock, like a notch just there, which your barrel will lock into. So the barrel will stay in the same position, but it's all about your airflow that moves. On top, zoom out a little bit more. You've got your airflow, which I want to say is a bit like a honeycomb airflow. Obviously, you've got the same on that on the left as you do on the right. You do, however, now with the version 1.5, I do believe this has been changed up quite a bit. You get three airflow holes on the middle post, so to speak. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, just there. Obviously, your coil legs will go in basically plus, minus, minus, plus. So, yeah, that's the deck. So, what I'm going to do now is throw a build on. So, I will zoom out a little bit. But I'll throw a build on and show you what it looks like. So, cue the music.
back up top and have a talk about it. So, what do I think? I like the style of the airflow with the airflow, airflow ring built in. It's actually amazed me on how they've got that ring in because there's no join, so it's not welded on type of thing. It's actually interesting how they've managed to get it in and to be so smooth with the barrel as well. The deck, it's an easy enough deck to build on, but for me personally, I think the screws are in the wrong position being underneath where the wick is it makes it a bit tricky but then if you're just throwing a build on it's not as tricky but it's one of them if you want to take the coils out you have to obviously move the cotton anyway but i don't know it's just going in from the sides i'm not a big fan of that flavor it's very flavorsome it has got quite a bit of flavor to it the drip tips not a big fan on i don't like autumn drip tips but all in all, I'd say it's a good RDA. I have tried this in squonk mode, and again, it performs quite well in squonk. As for the actual airflow on the deck, now, this is becoming quite popular with the airflow being coming in from the sides, which obviously I've showed you down below anyway. But if you over drip, it goes into the well underneath. That's quite more and more popular nowadays. So... Is a, a lot of innovation there? It's hard to say, to be honest. Everyone's doing the same thing. So, all in all, I wouldn't say it's spot on innovation, personally, because everyone's doing it. It is a bit whistly, especially if you get the builds wrong. I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a slight whistle to it. Now I've tried different coil positions, different coils as well. Still getting the slight whistle. But yeah, all, all in all, it's a good RDA. So what I'll do is find a link where it sells it for the cheapest price, obviously. And I'll drop that in the description. If you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more reviews or more content, give me a subscribe or don't tell it up to you. But I've been TBD. Till the next one. Take it easy.